Hey guys, Dan with Three North Motos. Uh, today we're going to go over uh, my new bike. This is a 2022 Sherco 250 uh, SE Factory. Um, I've got about 25 hours on this bike now. I've owned it for about six weeks. Um, and just going to kind of go over what the bike came with and then what, what changes I made to it uh, to fit what I needed. Um, the things that attracted me about the Sherco, um, electronic power valve. So the map switch here actually makes quite a big difference because it adjusts your power valve. Um, it has a 2.8 gallon tank stock, um, a key in carburetor, which is the best carburetors out there in my opinion. You got a coolant overflow tank stock right here underneath. So if you ever spit coolant, it just goes in there and then comes back into your radiators. And it also comes on the factory edition with a fan stock. So good size fuel capacity, fan, you got your coolant overflow tank. Another big selling feature on this bike to me, KYB suspension. KYB is the best suspension that's out there that comes on stock bikes. Um, the factory edition is valved very, very stiff. Um, so before I put springs and revalve this, um, I was running about five clicks in of compression from full soft and about six clicks in uh, on rebound and then on my high speed I was two and a quarter out and same same settings on my low speed and rebound on the shock and it felt pretty good I'm I'm 205 um, and even with stock springs the harder you rode it the better it felt um, so it was a little bit little bit harsh stock uh, now with the revalve and springs for my weight it's amazing I mean Big hits are fine, silks up all the small stuff, uh, and just, just works really, really well. Um, things that I've done to this bike, obviously we made our full dual sport kit. Um, this has a tail tidy with the blinkers integrated into the rear light. Uh, we have the moto minded flex plate on here. Uh, Euro switch. We got our plate mount signals, or excuse me, our hand shield signals in the front. Uh, and some SXS Burley shields that bolt right on to the Sherco stock plastic mounts. I've done bulletproof designs radiator guards. I took the stock skid plate off. These actually come with an AX AXP skid plate, which is a good plate, but it didn't have the link guard and the slide for the link. So I went with my favorite skid plate, the SXS um, with the link guard. The Shercos have a pretty small cockpit compared to the KTMs and Huskies. So I ended up doing some Fastway um, Evo Air foot pegs and I did the down and low position. Uh, note, if you're ordering these, make sure that you get springs that are for the down and low position because they're different than the ones that the kit came with. Um, and, the, and the other springs kind of would bind up and the peg would get stuck up. Um, this is a near clean speed brake pedal. So this is off of, off of a KTM RFS is what this was ordered for and it fits the Sherco pedal. So just kind of a note there that brings your brake lever uh, or tip closer to your foot so I can stay more on the ball of my foot and still hit my rear brake so I have my good riding position that I'm trying to achieve. Um, obviously we did a full revalve which we already talked about. Um, I rejet the carb and I did the Bulletproof Designs swing arm tab guard in the back. Gearing is stock. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it. I like the way that it's geared. It handles the tight stuff really well. Um, Nitro mousses front and rear. I went with a VE JX8 at first, and now I'm on a VE 33S in the rear. Um, bar ends, ODI bar ends, so I don't break my throttle tube when I dump it with the uh, just the flag style hand guards. I did a Scott's top mount on this bike as well. I also wired in a USB charger into the back right here that comes on when the bike turns on and then I have my iPhone 8 Max that's my trail map phone that just goes on a RAM ball right here um, otherwise how about the headlight the headlight is a Cyclops Explorer headlight and this is a mount that I made and they are currently making a couple different uh, variants of this headlight after after we did this one and uh, we're gonna test them 
but they should be available on our website after we do some testing. These should come in. And next that's Cyclops. Week. Cyclops okay. Adventure Sports mm -hmm. is the one making those. Uh, there's another light option um, that's been out for a while. That's a great one too, which is the Moto Minded mount with a um, Squadron Pro. So that's a, that's another one that's out there that we'll have available for this bike. Um, but I just had this light on the shelf and wanted to test it out. So very very bright light and doesn't weigh very much at all. Um, and then obviously our graphics. So these are the Fusion graphics uh, T and M ones, and super happy without how these turned out but um is there a horn on it there's a horn on it because you made it street legal yep and it's the street legal kit by who true north motos which is your company you're yep. the president of that company and these will these street legal kits will fit 17 plus shirkos very simple plug and play kits no splicing none of that stuff um you can mount the horn up front where the radiator is but i actually on the two stroke there's room and i mount it under the tank um oh that's nice. off of one of the head stay bolts so it's out of the way and uh it's still plenty loud so, uh, is that the factory can? This is the factory can. Yep, I didn't miss that one. Uh, but I did the cap. Enduro engineering end cap on it. Okay. Uh, the only other exhaust available that I could find was the FMF 2.1. Um, my only gripe with that one is it's really big. It's almost like a four-stroke muffler size. I usually like to run the FMF 2.0, uh, but they don't make it for this bike. So if you ever do run one of these Enduro engineering or fast ways or whatever one that you get that has a screen um, word of advice after you wash your bike take a little propane torch or a map gas torch and burn the carbon off the screen in the end because if it clogs up it'll make your bike run like crap so every time I wash my bike I just really quickly takes 20 seconds and I just burn the carbon off that screen that's inside here so a little trick well, Dan, this is a really nice bike. Uh, you uh, you have a whole bunch of bikes. Uh, you you've got plenty plenty of different bikes. What's the purpose of this bike uh, for all the bikes that you own? This is my single track bike. This is also the bike that I will race in the Enduro Series, the local series here, um, the Northwest Motorcycle Association mm -hmm. uh, Enduro Series. So, and how'd you finish last year? Uh, I got second place in Vet A last year. Nice job. So, yeah, thank you. Well, great looking bike. And, uh, well, good luck on the racing season. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for checking it out.